My name is Cole Ray. I'm 15 years old and I am in the ninth grade at Mint Spurnberg High School. Cole is a child who has some challenges but does not know defeat. He is a child that everyone said, no, he'll never, and he said, watch me. My name is Fatima Taylor. I am 14, and I'm in the eighth grade, and I go to McCracken Middle School. You bring a really literate student who's blind with some vision, who's very good at reading and writing Braille, and you pull technology into it, and, um, and it, it's, it's, it becomes the great equalizer at that point. Technology has um, set him free. It was like, I guess if you um, weren't able to walk and you got braces or you got a wheelchair, we're so fortunate that District 7 has said, come on, let's go. Cole sees the world in a way that um, you and I do not. I'm more of a visual learner. Most people's memory are like a file cabinet, and they just pick, pick, it's all organized, but mine is more like a rolling video. Cole is 15 now, and we kind of started this journey when he was five. We were told things like he would never read, he would never ride a bike, he would never run. He's been to seven different schools. You want to break a mother's heart when you have an educator who's seasoned in their field looking at me going, I don't know what to do. And we've sat around more tables than I ever want anybody to ever have to do. All right. She has very low vision. Uh, she sees a little bit. And, and it's accurate to say she's blind with some vision. I can see like things that are very close. like. If someone were to ask me how many fingers am I holding, they would have to be like about this close to my face to know. We have children who come to us who have every opportunity, and as they go home, they have a wealth of resources at their fingertips. About 70% of my children uh, don't have that access or didn't have that access. We have been in a full digital conversion in our district uh, going on three years now. We're in the middle of year three. So first and foremost, we wanted to find a way to eliminate that digital divide. Uh, we didn't want children who had and who didn't have. The whole premise of the league is to bring together school districts who are seeking to change how we teach and learn in our classrooms. So there's a wonderful network of over 70 school districts from across the United States now. In fact, here in South Carolina, uh, there are five districts that are part of the League of Innovative Schools. As always, we'll cover the first Things that might take a normal child a half hour to do in fourth grade took us hours. Um, we spent, he spent weekends doing that and but was always willing which was always the beautiful thing and kind of just was like oh um, for a mom's heart the Mac books have lots of apps that, that are really helping me with my Asperger's and dyslexia and dysgraphia okay we can take a picture of Homer boom send it to himself he can type it he can have it somebody download it to him he can have everything sent to his email so Life would be actually very hard for me because I use technology for a lot of other things than like other kids would. Because I use the Vizio book to help me see what's on the board and close things. I use voiceover on my computer and it reads what other sighted people can read on their computers. I have math type because uh, I instead of like write, writing my math I can like just type it out and it would come up on the screen so it looked like everybody else's. And it was just like, I mean, oh, I mean, I think we all just, um, we just couldn't believe that that was out there. So Fatima and Cole, you know, they have unique needs. Well, quite frankly, all 7,200 of my students have unique needs. 
And we're trying to move to a point to where we're personalized learning so much that every last child is being met where they are. Well, I'm good at reading, and I'm also good at ELA, and I'm getting good at, at math as well, and chess. I, I'm in the chess club. I love going to English, because English is my favorite, and I love writing and reading. Fatima works hard, always has a sweet attitude. I want to be an author when I grow up, because I love writing. I think she's thoughtful and serious about where she's going. Well, I would like to be like a, a writer, perhaps, like a science fiction writer, like turn like Lord of the Rings like into like a science science fiction instead of fantasy. So he got into the ballpark, and now he can hit the home run on his own. There comes an age when yeah, you gotta be ready. And you gotta like reach out, get outside your comfort zone, and and be brave. And I think that, that Spartanburg High School is helping me to do that. Just go for it and keep trying hard and don't give up because you're gonna make it. You can do it. <laughs>